Parents who need to find a new school for their children are facing a hard deadline. The Flanner House Charter Elementary School will close in two weeks after a state investigation found widespread cheating on I-STEP exams. And new tonight, Eyewitness News reporter Matt McCutcheon has pictures of the school president darting from our camera and questions on why the school is closing just weeks into the new year. Matt? John, for the next two hours, affected parents can come right next to the school to the Parks Community Center and sign up for a brand new elementary school, all while the president of the school board here tonight says she has yet to see the cheating allegations in person. A week after cheating allegations inside the Flanner House Elementary Charter School, leaders have kept a low profile. Did you ask, did we ask you a quick question before you head out? That's school board president Patricia Rowe, who got in her silver BMW and darted off, avoiding questions from Eyewitness News. Pat Rowe, the board chair. Just before, she took to the radio airwaves on afternoons with Amos. It is an unfortunate situation, and one that I don't believe is as isolated as what it's being made out to be. The school improved its I-STEP numbers by an incredible 39% in one year. That prompted an investigation which the city says found cheating, even adult handwriting, on tests. One of the true challenges I think has been for that staff at that school, including myself, is to have these allegations made without any evidence that supports it. Roe wouldn't go into specifics about the handwriting allegations, but says testing concerns largely fall with third and fourth grade results. I think at minimum, the individuals who are being accused should see that evidence. Parents are frustrated after spending hundreds of dollars on uniforms and books last month, only to hear the school will close next month. Roe didn't vote to close, but the majority of the school board members did. She says they felt pressure from the mayor's office. While she sympathizes with parents' frustrations, she claims the school board has been transparent with the city, something she says hasn't been a two-way street. And I honestly believe it could have been handled very differently if we had the opportunity to understand when it first became to their attention what we were dealing with. And now looking to the future, parents have until 7 o'clock tonight to come again to the Park Community Center right next to this embattled elementary school to sign up for a new school. About 170 students in all impacted by this. Meanwhile, the investigation into the cheating here is expected to be forwarded to the Marion County Prosecutor's Office.